What's up internet, Josh Miles here, and today we're going to be talking about a little behind the scenes of making a podcast. But first, I need to track down some coffee. Your 59 second Friday, what's up next? Okay guys, so as soon as I went to hit record, this guy decided to park his truck outside of my house and idle it. So if you can hear it in the background, I'm sorry, but we've got videos to make people moving on. So as you're seeing the time lapse here, uh, this is a little bit of the gear that I use when I'm in person. That's actually a really rare case for making a podcast for me. I'm usually recording on Skype or I use another service called Ringer. Anyhow, this system that I'm using is a Zoom recorder, two microphones. Let me go figure out what kind of mic that is. Please hold. So while I was up, uh, I went ahead and grabbed it. This is the Shure SM58. You've probably seen these before at every concert in the universe. And I put these little foamy doodads over the top just so I can look like I'm on Anchorman. Actually, these are uh, it doesn't look nearly as cool as it does without that, but, but that's how that works. It's an XLR connection. And since I was up, I also grabbed the recorder. This is the Zoom. Uh, I want to say this is the H5. Uh, I'll correct that if that's wrong, but this is a pretty handy recorder. So all of the XLRs uh, plug into the side. You've got four different channels. Then also you can do another directional mic in the front. Sometimes I use this for video as well, and I put uh, the shotgun mic on there as well. Anyhow, enough about the gear. Let's get into just a quick overview of how I edit a podcast. I should also say I'm not usually the one who edits my shows. Jen Eds at the Brassy Broadcast Company, if you're a fan of Obsessed with Design, you've probably heard me mention her name many, many, many times out of the hundred and some shows. She's probably edited a hundred of them. <laughs> as I'm trying to learn more about production, both audio and video, I'm getting in here to kind of learned the steps and thought I'd show it to you guys as well. All right, so this is a little different than how I usually do podcasts. Usually it's over Skype, so I don't have the pleasure of seeing the person, but today, say Hi. hello to Anna. Uh, I'm interviewing Anna from Trello, and she's actually here in Indianapolis in the building that I used to work out of, so this is really cool. So we'll show you a little bit more here in a second. Okay, so let's get into this a little bit and I'll show you more about what's going on. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the full project inside of Adobe Audition CC. Uh, this is already, it's sort of like one of those baking shows. This has already been done for you and I'm pulling it out of the oven here. Um, but this is basically what the clip looks like in the end. So this is not how it started. Okay, so this is the playhead, and if you're not familiar with how this timeline works, it's really just three audio tracks that are cut up into pieces. Why not just lay the two audio tracks down and let them play, you might ask? Well, both microphones, since we're sitting so close to one another, pick up a little bit of echo and a little bit of reverberation in the room, and I generally want to avoid having it sound echoey or having one track sound different than another just because of the way somebody was sitting closer to the wall. Um, but here's what this sounds like. So you've got the music track and the voice track under one another. But then you can see here where there's huge gaps. That's where I've chopped the clip to remove and allow for the other person who's talking. So just to scrub to this point right here. Okay, so here's a quick example. I'm just gonna throw down another track here. This is Anna's track. So you can see all of this light echo that's in here with me, and you can tell just by looking at the waveforms where Anna's voice starts. So if you use the key command R, you can just cut that piece 
You can go to V and that gets you your pointer tool, hit delete, and now Anna's track starts with her voice. Yeah, absolutely. So, so you just grab the end of this track and drag to hide that first bit. And again, if you find that where that next spot is you want to chop, do the R, do the R again, hit V to get your arrow, hit delete, and you can just leave those gaps. So uh, it really just takes a little patience. For me, it's about two or three times however long the audio is. That's how long it takes me to edit it. Uh, an experienced editor could probably fly through this a lot faster and maybe without even necessarily listening through to all of it. Uh, but for me, I'm still going in and chopping things out and really being pretty picky. So hopefully that, that gives you some idea of how this thing works. I hope that was helpful. I'm Josh Miles and this has been another 59 Second Friday. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure and hit like and subscribe. Every one of those subscribers really mean a lot to me and I really appreciate your support and watching this video. So let me know what you'd like to see next time. We'll be back really soon with more about personal branding and another 59 Second Friday. Make sure and hit subscribe to get more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, that was a blast. I'll have to show you a little bit more about the editing process. Uh, and thanks for asking. Grande Americano with room for lots of cream. <laughs>